Chapter 9 Ethics Concept in Information Security Part 2 Ethical differences across cultures Cultural differences can make it difficult to determine what is and is not ethical, especially when considering the use of computers. Individuals of different nationalities have different perspectives. Difficulties arise when one nationality's ethical behavior conflicts with the ethics of another national group. Software License Infringement The individual surveyed understood what software license infringement was but felt either that their use was not piracy or that their society permitted this piracy in some way. The lack of legal disincentives or any one of a number of other reasons could also explain why these alleged piracy centers were not oblivious to intellectual property laws. Illicit use. The individual studied unilaterally condemned viruses, hacking, and other forms of system abuse as unacceptable behavior. Misuse of corporate resources. Individuals displayed a rather lenient view of personal use of company equipment. A range of views within the acknowledgement of ethical versus unethical behavior as to whether or not some actions are moderately or highly acceptable. Ethics and Education Differences in the ethics of computer use are not exclusively international. Differences are found among individuals within the same country, within the same social class, and within the same company. Deterrence to unethical and illegal behavior. It is the responsibility of information security personnel to do everything in their power to deter these acts and to use policy, education and training, and technology to protect information and systems. Three general categories of unethical and illegal behavior. 1. Ignorance. 2. Accident. 3. Intent. Ignorance of the law is no excuse, however ignorance of policy and procedures is unethical. Individuals with authorization and privileges to manage information within the organization are most likely to cause harm or damage by accident. Intent is often the cornerstone of legal defense when it becomes necessary to determine whether or not the offender acted out of ignorance, by accident, or with specific intent to cause harm or damage. Deterrence is the best method for preventing an illegal or unethical activity. Laws, policies, and technical controls are all examples of deterrence. However, it is generally agreed that laws and policies and their associated penalties only deter if three conditions are present. They are fear of penalty, probability of being caught, and probability of penalty being administered. Ethical issues related to computers and information systems are first, repositories and processors of information. Second, producers of new forms and types of assets. Third, instruments of X. And fourth, symbols of intimidation and deception. Whistleblower. When professional ethical duty conflicts with loyalty to employer organizations and professional societies should provide alternative mechanisms. And, fair use is what rights can be assumed when a consumer purchases a digital piece of content. No clear analogy with non-digital content 